What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the MX-9 here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. Now honestly, I'm going to have to give the MX-9 a easy top 3 SMG here in Modern Warfare 2. Not too many people use it, but this weapon is really good, and with this class up, it makes it even better. So if you guys are new, enjoy today's video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on, and let's get into it. Now getting into my build guys, for the first attachment, we're going to the muzzle, and we're going to be adding on the Spiral V3.5 Flash Hider Muzzle. Now this is going to help with muzzle flash concealment and recoil steadiness. Now I will say with the mx9 the only problem i feel like this weapon has is the weapon steadiness it's not the best it's not the worst but it's not the best but this attachment here is going to make this weapon so much better the weapon is more steady now you're going to be more accurate at those ranges and basically in any gunfight the weapon is just so much better to use and this is why i'm going to be adding it on for our first attachment here now, we're going to the magazine for our next attachment, and we're going to be adding on the 32-round mag. Now, I will say this, here in going into Modern Warfare 3, or maybe in the next few updates, I really hope they add a larger magazine size to this weapon. Nothing too crazy. Maybe a 42-round mag would be perfect. I think that would be nice, but we're going to be adding the 32-round mag on just for a larger magazine size. It's not taking as much of a hit on the mobility and handling, which is okay, but this weapon 100% needs a larger magazine. So, we're going to be adding this on. For attachment number two now for the rear grip i decided to go with the stip 40 grip this comes with recoil control now i know i said this weapon has some good recoil control but we need better control of this weapon at those longer ranges this attachment here is just going to make the weapon really calm really smooth to use at those longer ranges at any range really and it's going to make it easier on us since we are using the iron sights for this build so make sure to have this attachment on now for the comb, we're going to be adding on the FTAC C11 riser. Now this can help with aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed. Now with this build, for these next few attachments, I'm just going to make us as aggressive as possible. This attachment here is just going to make us have a lightning quick aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed. Being more aggressive, aim down sights really quick, which is always good in any gunfight, which can help us win them. And then for our final attachment, before we get into our tunes, we are going to the laser. And we're going to be adding on the VLK 7W laser for a ton of aim down sight and sprint the fire speed. And again, and since we are running the iron sights, we have aiming stability, which is going to come in clutch. Now, the tunes I'll be running for this build, we're going to start with the muzzle here. Now, I have my gun kick control at 0.31 and my aim down sight speed at 0.39. We have faster aim down sight speed, which is always good. We have better gun kick control on this weapon. So, since this weapon does have a pretty decent good fire rate, this weapon's not going to kick up as much anymore. It's way more calm, easier to control. And always remember, with the muzzles, never tune for recoil smoothness because it does nothing. It's a, just a waste of a thing here in Modern Warfare 2 dmz and warzone 2 so always never tune or add attachments on it helps with that but for the laser we have our aim down sight speed at 29.61 and our sprint the fire speed at 0.21 just still working on that handling with this build we have better control of the weapon but also better have better accuracy better handling which is good and with the mx9 it has good mobility anyway so even if you add some of the slowest attachments on this weapon it's gonna still it's gonna move pretty quick still so always remember that but we have really good handling here as you guys see here in the graph in the middle now, for the comb, we have our aim down sight speed at 0 0.08. You really don't need to go much on there to get that two-tick handling. And we also have aim blocking speed at 0.27. Working on that mobility, which is good. But if you feel like you have troubles with the aim down sight speed or anything like that, and if you feel like you can't hit your shots, just tune for recoil stabilization. It won't make the weapon any slower or anything. It's just going to make the weapon a little bit easier to control, a little bit more smoother. But I don't need that. And then getting into our final attachment for the Step 40 grip, we're going to put our sprint to fire speed at 0.32 and our recoil status at 0.0. Three, the weapon's not going to move at all, and you're going to be a little bit more aggressive with this build. But give this build a try. Let me know in the comment section what is your highest kill game. Do you enjoy the build? And also let me know in the comment section what do you think about the weapon. Give this rating a one being the worst and ten being the best. What do you rank the MX9? But the gameplay we got today is insane. As usual, you guys will enjoy it. So if you guys are new again, hit that sub button, hit that bell. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. This is the game, I'm telling y'all. I will say this about the MX-9, though. Just playing this, like, just playing the game and everything, I feel like this weapon deserved to have a larger magazine size. And and with, with going into the next Call of Duty, you know, we do get the Modern Warfare 2 weapons. So wonder if Call of Duty or Sledgehammer or Infinity Ward... I guess. I, I don't know, but my god, that guy needs some control freaks. But wonder if they're actually going to make it where we they add different attachments to the weapons. Wonder if that'll ever happen. I doubt it, but... Stab. Stab. Stab again. Got a VTOL. I don't, I'm not liking this so far because 
These guys are not playing objective on the other team. So, I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how this is going to go honestly, but we'll see. And this guy is playing he's he's camping on a different level. There we go. All right, now they're actually on the hard point. Oh, I got to get in here. Hold on. I'm chase me. I guess he's not. All right, now what I have to do for to get this game back on track where the other team is playing objective, I'm going to have to make it where these guys are spawning closer to the hard point because this is not it right now. This is not it right now. All right, he's in the cafe, I think. There we go. All right, now they're, spo they're now they're getting on the hard point. That's this is what I do when I play hard point. I make I force spawn them on the hard point. And I make it where they basically they the spawns are forced on our teammates. And basically it just like they keeps piling up right there and boom bam. They're not gonna be able to kill them, so. There we go. Let's keep this up. But overall, if you're still watching, like what what do you rank? The MX9 in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 meta as of right now with the nerfs and buffs and everything. Like, from S tier to trash. What would you guys... What would you guys rank this weapon? And I can't believe I just died there. But honestly, I would give this weapon... I would... Uh, I'm gonna be nice. Well, I can't be nice. This weapon is actually pretty good. I would give it a high B tier. I would probably put it on top of B... These guys have so much more time that they can get on that hard point, but there I go, just getting a double kill on them, and now they teammates are just going to jump on it. Maybe not, I don't know. And I don't even know where these guys are spawning at. Found them. Never mind. All right, well, the game's only at a 40-point difference, so that's not, that's not too bad. Just... Just gift me with a great game, because we need it. We need a good game here. Sentry gun should do good, but I will say as well, this weapon is really good at range. And I do hope in the near future, if it's in Season 6, I know, you know, surprisingly, we're almost on our one of our last seasons of Call of Duty for this game, because time is flying by pretty quick. It's kind of scary, but this weapon deserves... This weapon does deserve a larger magazine size, and I feel like everyone can agree. All right, let's go ahead and look at that. Boom. The game's back in a fair state, and the game's going to last a little bit longer, and we're just going to hope that we can get a, a nuke here. All right, back on a Ruthless. Go ahead and call that. A I don't know what you're doing, bro, but whatever you're doing, your play style is not it. That Some... One reason I don't like this map, well, it's an okay map, but I don't like it too much because of of how people can play. All right, these guys are just feeding me right now. This is nuts. 60 kills as well. I mean, with the time that we have, we should get 40 kills. There we go. And of course, chicken is just pre-aiming we love that get stabbed i don't know this might just be a high kill game we're gonna throw that nade over uh car blew up all right this is gonna be the spawn here watch this is gonna be it where i get all my streaks and we're gonna start playing for another nuke should this be a triple nuke that we should have gotten or work on already? Yes, this should be a triple nuke, but... This should be a triple nuke, but sometimes you just... You have to deal with what you got. We got another sentry gun. Alright, we got another VTOL as well. Let's go ahead and bump that up. I do hope that the... Uh, with, you know, with people saying, like, this next Call of Duty basically is like a DLC in a way. That's the next level of camping. That's crazy. But I really hope that they actually just... I hope they just put these streaks in the next COD. Honestly, just... 
Just give this like an insane amount of streaks. If you're bringing over the weapons and some maps, just bring over the streaks as well. I feel like, I feel like that's that'd be nice. Cause I mean, just if wep you just can't share. Like you can't use a Modern Warfare 2 UAV and a Modern Warfare 3 UAV. But that's insane, bro. But all right, now we're gonna. This guy didn't even show up on my advance. That was kind of scary. All right, we're chilling still. I don't know what bro's doing, but we're chilling. I don't need to freak out too much. Alright. Alright, in the cafe. There's still one in the cafe. How many kills are at? 98? Alright, we're like one more kill away from... Okay, we did get 100. That's good. That's good. Now we just need to... Get one of our nukes. And these guys are gonna keep taking my kills. There we go. Oh, nope. We didn't get that hunt. We didn't get a nuke yet. Hold on. This is the guy for a nuke. There it is. There goes the nuke. I was about to say, what is, where is my nuke? The MX9 is so good though. I would put this I would put this SMG top. Three SMG, honestly. People might be saying I'm bugging, but... I don't... Oh, he's right here. Hold on. I'm not even... I'm not worried about that, dude. I'll let. I'll just let him kind of... Just gatekeep the, the hard point a little bit. Try to get a little bit more kills in. Because he, he, he can do it. I know he can. There we go. All right, what, 230? Just got to be a little bit careful. Let me just get out of here. I'm going to have to call this nuke in, I'm sure. All right, let me go ahead and call this nuke in. We're at 115 kills. I can't lie. Every time we've played this map, we've been having some pretty good games on here. So This is why I do like this map. Even though it's kind of a medium-sized map, the flow on this is really good. But hey, I mean, 118 kills, I sure will take. And if we had a veto, I'm sure we'd get over 120. But hey, 118 kills. This should have been a triple new gameplay, but we died a few times. It's all right. But this is still a great gameplay with the MX-9. Let's go.